the colors of the rainbow. The rainbow has so many colors. It would be nice if we could take our time to study those colors so that we may know the mystery of God therein. The color of the rainbow comes out whenever the rays of the sun is reflected back by the tiny rain droplet in the sky after or during major downpour. Those seven colors you see in the rainbow is truly of a true the manifestation of different light colors that made up the so-called white color of the sun. You will never know the ray of the scourge sun has so much beauty until there are droplets of water vapor in the air. In another development, we also know that out of the mist of tons, you get roses in their season. No wonder God told Samuel, I, the Lord, look at the heart and not the outward of a man. The world is full indeed of mystery and of deception. However, you cannot give or reflect what you don't have. It is just a matter of time. The true color will indeed manifest. To this end, Jesus said, By their fruit you shall know them. It is just a matter of time. After seed time, harvest time will surely come. After sowing, there will indeed be season of reaping. Man of God, what do you reflect? What are you made of? Remember, there is adultery, there is fornication, there is uncleanness, there is lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, rot, strife, sedition, heresies, envy, murder, drunkenness, revelings. If the prince of this world come and check you out, will he find any of this in you? <laughs> Those are the works of the flesh. Brethren, the works of the flesh has already been judged. Has already been judged. They which do such things shall not by any means inherit the kingdom of God. If truly you are a follower of Jesus, your fruit will make it known. You will indeed manifest as it is written. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Brethren, where are you in all this? According to the scripture, it says, And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections, with the affections and lust. They that are Christ, they that are for Jesus, they have crucified the flesh. All the works of the flesh, they have crucified them, including the love for such and the lust after such. Even in their heart, they have crucified the flesh. Man of God, take heed. Out of your belly flow a river from which many that taste they drink to be able to quench their thirst. Out of your belly flow out a river that other people depend on for their living. So, what kind of river do you flow? Which kind of river flow from you? Look inward, brother. Is your river the river of the spirit unto life? Or is yours the river of flesh unto death? Ask yourself, are you building an army of light to glorify God or a legion of demons and of fallen men to show forth the lust and the works of the flesh? You see, 
this body has become strong because though we have many churches, yet the impact as regards holiness and righteousness in the land is lacking even in this society. He said, For ye are yet carnal, for where there is among you envy and strife and division, are ye not carnal and walk as men? <sighs> if you walk as men, say ye shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. How come we have turned the business of God? from that of spirit to that of mammon. Many who are babes in, the spirit, in spiritual things that are supposed to be under tutors until they grow up are now going about claiming titles and gullible people are following them. Holy <laughs> Bakatos of Adesa. Have you listened to Oropo? Have you listened to his preaching? Have you listened to Arume Osai? Have you listened to Dr. Ibedamina? <laughs> Go listen. Rate your level of grace. Time will fail me to mention. Wash my knee. Billy Akani. Sema and other generals who have found grace. In their journey to the wilderness. And are returned by the power of the Spirit. And the fame of God is upon them, and such fame has spread abroad. Man of God, as it is written in Matthew 5 16, say, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Brethren, it's not about you, it's about your Father which is in heaven. On the other hand, it's about the devil. Whoever you have chosen to serve, it's about them. Are you glorifying Satan in your flesh and lust? Or you are glorifying God in your spiritual good works? Brother, you have heard. Sister, you have heard. Man of God, you have heard. Woman of God, you have heard. If your works and heart posture are at variance with the desire and the burdens in the heart of God. Remember, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every man may receive the thing done in his body, according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. He went for that to admonish us. He said, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade all men. Yes, we persuade men to repent and align. For everyone's work shall be revealed by fire. Examine yourself, therefore, and answer this pertinent question Will my work survive the fire of God? Have you forgotten the word of Jesus so soon, my brother, my sister? When he said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. This is a generation that seek after these things and expect that the kingdom and the righteousness shall be added. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Who brought this upon us? How did we receive such a message? Or doctrine, or will I call it culture? How did we submit our consciousness and soul to this level of spiritual inconsistency and depravity? Kabuka the stars abatulia, heya lebakodes abadesa, Father, my God, I pray for the body of Christ at this hour. Purify us, Lord, with your fire. Purge us, O Lord, that we may be fit for your use. Father, lead us in the path of righteousness. For thy name's sake, Lord, take not thy Holy Spirit from us, creating us a new heart, O Lord. 
Manifest your holiness through us, O my Father. Reveal unto us thy truth and thy light. In the name of Jesus. Amen.